So a lot of you are wondering, when can we expect the next big content reveal for Anthem? Well, I have some brand new official updates for you today. Hey everyone, what's up? Overworld Games here, and yes, let's dive into your daily dose of Anthem news. And we're going to be taking down the War Titan. I wish they would do more events around the Titans and introduce more unique Titans, by the way. But let's get into the official stuff right now. So the first news comes from Community Manager Jesse. So first of all... This was asked by Matt Anderson, who says this. So any news on the next stream? Will it be next week? And Jesse uh, responded by saying this, probably still nailing down a few details. So they're definitely working on something over there. And I'm extremely curious to see as to what is going to be ending up in this next stream. But looks like that stream will be happening next week. So look out for official dates, official times and stuff like that. They usually nail down, uh, you know, the official time and dates. For these streams now uh, there was a follow-up question here from Kato who says uh, you guys are so quiet lately but I figure you're all hard at work on Anthem any streams this week or is it set for sometime next week keep up the great work and of course we already know the answer but Jesse says this hope to have more info in the next couple days actually so it could actually end up happening where I get some info here about this by the weekend maybe but I'm honestly going to be saying that uh, we'll probably get that info drop about the next stream day and stuff like that probably around Monday. So that's going to be my assumption there or maybe even Tuesday. So look out for news about that one. I'll keep you guys in the know as to what's going to be happening. But let's keep going here. Uh, yeah, you can see some other signs that stuff is happening. Lamont says this. Will there be a dev stream next week? Everyone keep, keeps asking that. And Andrew Johnson of, uh, you know, the community manager on Anthem as well puts a hmm face there so it looks like that that's going to be happening next week now there was a post out on reddit and it was titled this fyi company-wide bioware meeting in one and a half hours he says this i guess the team has ordered a full radio silence until the meeting then we get details i really hope they will communicate after because this silence is killing me patience and there's no source to this information but it wouldn't surprise me if there was some sort of like emergency me meeting happening over at Bioware and they were gathering themselves and like saying what needs to come next. I, I honestly think that's probably uh, what they're uh, discussing right now, Consider considering excuse me, the radio science that is happening right now. They're probably wanting to tighten up communication and probably uh, delivering the message or mission statement to everyone. No mistakes going forward. We don't need... Any more PR nightmares with Anthem? Because honestly, this game can't survive anymore. They need to just get this April update properly done. It needs to be something really cool, and they need to get it out. And then I think open up communication after that. A lot of people want to see, uh, you know, like a weekly blog post or a weekly series, much in the way that, you know, Fortnite does theirs and Epic Games does their stuff. Uh, that's something that people really, really want to see. And I think that's something they can actually do to sign, you know, Bioware uh, as the, uh, you know, name at the end of such a blog post but let's keep going here but also i would like to see the devs back communicating eventually that's something that i think a lot of people did enjoy is that communication especially before the game released they uh, uh enjoyed how open uh, bioware was about a lot of stuff all right so yeah let's keep going right now now uh this was uh posted here by pajamas i think it was who says this do you still pick up blues and purple items orange ones and this is a pretty funny thread and uh, AJ, community manager, says this. I pick everything up, just the type of player I am. I have a habit of being the same way as well. And Rick uh, Grimes says, This must be why the devs are so silent. They're still dismantling epics. Shots fired. Oh, man. God love the banter in the Anthem community. Uh, but AJ responded saying, The devs are working on the game, actually. So, yeah, we don't know exactly what they're working on, but they are definitely working on something uh going forward i really want to know more about this cataclysm as well but and and the sunken stronghold but uh one of the posts that uh, really got some attention recently out through the community and this is something that uh, has been said before is this one right here it says how can they be this lazy graphic pack leaders icon versus graphic pack hunter and this one comes from yungaris i believe it is so many different names out there and you could see how uh, these two decals or vinyls are 
pretty much exactly the same except rotated. And this is something that the community uh, desperately wants changed when it comes to the shop and when it comes to how vinyls and decals are handled overall. They want, you know, super cool vinyls and decals in the shop going forward for sure. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and talk about this one right here. This one definitely caught my attention. It caught a lot of people's attention as well. Got 121 up votes here. Uh, make enemies like Halo AI and improve strongholds. This comes from IM Import. And I love this idea. I'm a huge fan of the Halo franchise, especially, uh, you know, the original Halos and Halo Reach. I would love to see another game like Halo Reach in the future. The desperation struggle but let's go into his post a little bit more he says i am mostly talking about halo 2 here elites on easy behave 1000 times differently than that of legendary for example gives an example here it says easy elite sits st uh, still and fires walks in any direction and fires some more when you approach elite it will melee and it is heavily delayed or the elite uh will retreat 95 percent elites are blue now normal difficulty says this elite movement is increased and now can duck and weave also fires more often with more power now it throws grenades when you approach and will melee blue and red elites are present this time around specialized elites will now start to appear now let's talk about heroic difficulty says elites moves and fires together throws grenades more often when you come too close will make uh, melee faster and activity uh enter vehicles also passively enters cover blue red and yellow elites are now in the mix more specialized elites will be in the mix now when we talk about legendary Elites move faster, shoot faster, cool down shorter, more aggressive when you approach, will melee faster and pursue you to a point. Blue, red, yellow, and white elites will appear, will actively uh, seek cover, and vehicles throw grenades more often uh, than heroic. Uh, specialized elites uh, will be almost in every encounter. Yellow and white elites, when damaged to a point and you, you're close enough, will drop their weapon and activate a sword. Now, there's something I really wanted to mention and take away from those statements there it's cool to see them mention vehicles i think it would be neat if the enemies had vehicles they could hop into and had more of a faster way of getting around you and you had to really learn the weak points of the vehicles and these vehicles would be very tough encounters and then also a lot of you guys want to see more uh variety in terms of flying units in the game as well including bosses like a lot of you want like a stronghold boss that is some sort of dragon type creature i guess you would say uh that would be actually very interest interesting like a wyvern or something like that so i think uh they could really do some different stuff by introducing vehicles and more uh flying enemies in the game and add variety in that regard now it's time to go over your top comments so remember always leave a comment down below it may end up in the video, you never know. So let's do this, shall we? So the first top comment comes from Alex Snow, who says this, hopefully there will be a reason for me to come back to Anthem soon. Yeah, I feel you on that one. I know a lot of you guys are taking a break off this game. You're either playing Sirico. Uh, what, what else came out? The Division 2, of course. Devil May Cry. There's a lot of options uh, in gaming right now. There's been updates to Apex Legends, of course. And yeah, there's so many options and a lot of people are just uh, waiting around for a very good reason to come back. The reason I think a lot of people will come back, of course, is to check out the Sunken Stronghold. I have no doubt about that because the strongholds in the game, I think, are pretty decent, are really good. And uh, But we need a reason to permanently stay, which is going to be, I think, the big loot update. And uh, hopefully with this Cataclysm, that's something that triggers some sort of change in the way we play anthem going forward i'm just crossing my fingers that that's going to be connected to uh you know some sort of major gameplay change in terms of the loot system and stuff all right let's keep going here uh psycho 275 says this they're busy playing the division too and he's talking about where the developers are and you know what i imagine that some of them are actually investigating the division 2 and playing it like i have no doubt that they're hopping into the ga that game and i hope that they're actually studying that one. If I was Bioware, I would be studying the hell out of The Division 2 and then studying Borderlands 2. Uh, you know, Borderlands 2, how that world is laid out, as well as The Division 2 even, it's done very, very well. And it just feels like this open world is so segmented off. All right, next one comes from Rhino and Birds, who says, I think it's still too early and not accurate to compare Anthem with expansions related to content that made Diablo 
uh, Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 a lot better. All those expansions were much later in the life of each game. And that's a great point. Uh, yeah, I don't expect, like, something, like, absolutely huge. Like, the entire game world to completely change. But, yeah, we have to see what this Cataclysm brings forward uh, for sure. I, I don't know. You know, we were uh, so shown a sign of what they can do with Shaper Storms during the demo of course and a lot of people were underwhelmed by that one for sure so if this underwhelms i'm gonna be totally freaking bummed as are, will many people and again we'll see what happens and uh i'll just rotate completely over into borderlands 3 coverage if that happens uh, but i'll keep you guys in the know always about what happens with anthem of course going forward so cross our fingers the things pan out with anthem but guys thanks so much for watching stay tuned here Two open world games for more Anthem and, of course, open world gaming goodness. And, uh, yeah, thank you again for the love and support on the videos. Stay tuned for more, and I will see you all next time. Take care.